Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Techies. I'm Dee Lee Beard. And I'm Tim Welsh. And we are the Techies, and we got a great show for you today. We're going to talk about the new version of Firefox, Firefox 3. It's in beta. Quite honestly, I've been using it regularly, and I don't care if it's in beta. It's better than 2. It's he doesn't beta test two. anything, and the <laughs> fact that he actually is using a beta software is pretty amazing. There's enough features on this that it's wonderful. That I'm using this on my main computer, and I love it. Um, also going to have uh, Tim uh, talk about a Microsoft Word tip. Hopefully I'll make you a better writer by the end of the day, teach you some ways to make your grammar, grammar checker stronger, and uh, hopefully make you so you can maybe get an A on the next paper you write if you're a student or sound really important to your boss. We've also got uh, several viewer questions that came from you. Appreciate it. Keep those viewer questions coming. Well, with no further ado, let's dive into Firefox 3 and give you a reason why you should be either switching to Firefox or upgrading to Firefox 3. Okay? One of the first things I like about it is you can see right here I have uh, you know th tabs open. The interface is automatically different. I'll zoom in here so you can kind of see a little bit of this. Uh, I'm looking at it on the Mac side and you can see this interface here is a lot s more s smoother. It's more like Safari if you like that kind of design. And you have these, sort of the options you know to show the toolbars to hide the bookmarks bar or show it if you don't want. I do have it on there because it's nice to get to ask the techies really fast when I <laughs> want to. <laughs> and actually whatever what kept me from using Firefox before was just the, yeah. the older looking skin. It looked very, I don't know, maybe former operating system. It was mm -hmm. very it was very archaic looking. And this one it looks very 2008. It's yeah. very hip. It's very fresh. I, well, I don't like the huge back button that they've got over here. Um, and the reason I don't like that is it takes up so much space all the way across the screen with all this extra gray space, this real estate that's just kind of lost right through here. There's room for two lines in here and, and that's just wasted space that I could view more of my web page. Really important when you're working on a 13 inch laptop. <laughs> um, but one of the nice things about it is if I go, okay, let's quit out of Firefox. If I, you know, I often sometimes hit this keyboard shortcut, by the way, to close a window. It's Apple W. It's, or the command W. And in fact, I'm actually using a Sony VAIO keyboard. I'm using the uh, <laughs> Apple logo. I hit that and I go W, but sometimes the Q and the W are real close to each other. And the keyboard shortcut mm. on Mac for quitting an application is command yeah. Q. And if I accidentally hit Command Q, oh man, I've just suddenly quit out of Firefox and lost all of my windows. So that'd be dangerously close. Oh yes, not anymore. Firefox now says, do you want to Firefox to save your tabs for the next time it starts? And you can say save and quit. So when I do that, it quits out. And then when I launch Firefox again, it's going to automatically pick me up from where I left off in my last session. Vroom, automatically loads them all up. I love this because sometimes I'll get a security update or something I have to mm -hmm. install for Apple. And I don't want to delay installing it because I got a bunch of windows open and I haven't finished reading all these websites that I want to do. And I don't want to have to you know, create bookmarks right. for all of them and clutter my bookmarks. I can just quit, tell it to save, install my updates, restart the computer, hit Firefox again, picks me right up where I left off. So no, no lag time, no lost time, trying no. to reload web pages. Maybe if you're doing some research and you have stuff open and then you have to get up and yeah. go real quick, yeah. It could be a time saver. And of course you can rearrange your tabs and that's nice. Some of you have seen that before, but if I wanted to move like the Ask the Techies page to put it first, I can. And now it's the first one here and hmm. there's the second one there. <clears throat> and if you can kind of see it makes it nice. One thing I do like is it does have a nice little green arrow that shows up showing you where it's going in between. And then you can let go. If you have to get it exactly on spot, just go until that green arrow gets right to the point that you're trying to get to. Also, one other thing about Firefox 3 is that in the autocomplete thing up here at the top, when you type in what you're looking for, it'll start looking at recent pages that you've gone to that have some of that information. You type in ask the, and obviously it's pulling up ask the techies right there, and there I go. It automatically takes it to me. So if there's something I've been to recently, mm -hmm. it makes it really handy for me to be able to find. So it looks in my bookmarks. It not only tries to auto enter CNN.com, you know, if I go CNN, oh, I guess oh. I could click up here. Got to be in there. CNN, actually CNN.com isn't even auto entering for me, but there we go. So it's going to help me out with that when I try to enter those uh, addresses. So I don't have to dig through my bookmarks and find a site that I went to just yesterday, mm -hmm. and I can just put in a portion of that address, and that'll help out. Right. Browsing, the pool, I guess the whole point is trying to make browsing faster. Exactly. And they've exactly. done a really good job with that with the Firefox 3. Yeah. Um, one other thing is the, uh, you can create a new folder. Um, 
you know, when I click here and I go to like Ask the Techies, I can click on it and it takes me there. But sometimes, you know, like we just started this, I had three pages that popped up. Sometimes every day there's three pages I want to pop up. Mm -hmm. I want to pop up certain pages. I always like to look at a news site, a weather a special, site, sports site. Mm -hmm. Yeah, things like that. Maybe a blog, someone's favorite blog that you like. Well, you can create a folder where you click and it will load all of them. So what you can do is in your navigating here, this bookmarks bar, if you don't see this bookmarks bar, this is like little sh short ones here. And they have smart bookmarks, which is also nice. Most visited, recently bookmarked, recent tags. And, but you can go to view and show toolbars and say show bo bookmarks bar. And that's checked, so it is showing. But what I can do is I can come over here and I can right click and say new folder. And it's going to prompt me. And I'm going to call this my dailies. Does that be the right, I guess that would be the right way to spell it. That would be. Okay. So these are the ones I want to, every day I want to load up. And then what I can do when I get to a site that I want to add to it, I can go to Ask the Techies, click on that little globe, drag it down into the dailies. And now it's in there. I can go to CNN.com and drag it down into the dailies. There we go. So then all I have to do, if I close out of this and say, yes, I do want to close all tabs. And I no. open up a, I launch Firefox for the first time. I can just click on dailies and say open all tabs. And I can have 15 tabs in there mm -hmm. and it automatically loads them all. There's that one, there's the CNN one. Really fast for me to be able to do that. And now your bookmarks toolbar doesn't get filled up with thousands upon thousands upon thousands of bookmarks for everything that you've always wanted. So now you're scrolling through your <laughs> bunch of bookmarks too. <laughs> exactly. And it's just real handy to get the, that, that sort of thing done. Now if I do go to a site and I want to bookmark CNN for instance, if I want to bookmark that, you know, you can do the bookmark menu and say uh, bookmark this page. Now, one of the nice things about bookmarking is it actually gives you an option to, well, one, remove the bookmark if you don't want, but you can name it. And so if I don't want this whole thing filling up my bookmarks bar, I can say I want it to just be CNN and hit delete. And then I can choose what folder. Dailies, mm -hmm. it is in dailies already, but I also want to put it in another place. And I want to choose, and I can create even a new folder. And I can call it, oh, news sites. So I have a new one, and it's on my toolbar. or I can choose for that to be in the bookmarks menu. Instead of on the bookmarks toolbar, so to right. keep your toolbar fresh. And right. And uh, so anyway if, you, if, anyway, if I wanted it in the toolbar, which I do, I would click, uh, oh, one other thing is tags. I can tag this with news. For instance, this may not seem helpful with news mm -hmm. in particular, but this helps when the, in the bookmarks thing, if I'm trying to find something. Let me because show you. Let me click done. You'll find this be happy, happy, helpful if you look for a lot of images out mm -hmm. on the internet. Um, you can collect all of those. So if I come up here and select all, I can now type in N E C N. So I type in an N. It's using those tags to help me find that website. So if I just start typing in, like if I tagged it with mm -hmm. photos, PH, it's going to automatically show me all the sites that I've tagged for photos. Which is amazing because. Once again, it's making browsers, browsing simpler and faster. So instead of just trying to find your thousands upon thousands of bookmarks, it's right there. It's tagged. I have thousands upon thousands of bookmarks all scrolled down, and I never go back to them because it's hard to find the one I want. This forces you to be organized from the get-go. You can just click, OK, whatever, and have it put it in the default place. But I think you're going to find this will keep you organized a lot better to start putting these things in folders so you can find what you want. 